I've been asked a lot of times for optimization tips for SSDs, so here's one that is very, very useful. Um, if you have an SSD, you probably know that they're not very big. Uh, the average size of an SSD these days is around 120 gigs. So I ran into a situation where I was using Space Sniffer to figure out the differences between the OSs I had installed on a couple of my SSDs, and I realized that my hibernation file, hiberfile.sys, you don't have to get too close because I'll read it out, is 12 gigs of space on a 120 gig drive. I never ever hibernate my uh, test bench PC, that's something I only really use on a notebook, so why am I wasting this space that I could be using to install more copies of Battlefield 3 that doesn't run off my external Steam drive and insists on installing in program files because Origin is awesome. Um, so yeah, that's what I could be doing with that space instead. So I'm going to show you guys how to disable it uh, completely, because it's not as simple as just setting it to hibernate after settings never. You also have to turn off allow hybrid sleep, and then once you're done that, so you access this through control panel, all control panel items, power options, edit plan settings, so you have to go to the change advanced power settings. The next thing you have to do is open up an elevated command prompt. So the way to do that is you search for CMD in the start menu, you right click and you run as administrator. Then in your elevated command prompt, you type power CFG dash H. So that's for hibernate space off, press that and delete the, oh, that deleted it. Okay, the instructions that I had seen have sometimes mentioned uh, deleting that file, but it looks like you actually don't have to. Now, all of a sudden, I have 12 gigs more space on my boot drive. Yay! Now I can install more stuff on my computer that I do not hibernate. So there, there's my tech tip for the day. Unless I upload two videos today, in case, in which case that's one of my tech tips for the day. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, tech tips, and other computer videos.